Little fucking pimple again. Bitch. Okay, I got so many requests to roast your art because of my last video. People were like, oh my god, roast me, burn me, punish me. Dude, if I knew you guys were into hardcore BDSM, I would have started this shit years ago. And I love the fact that some people were like, wow, even though these were roasts, I learned a lot. Well, your standards of tutorials must be pretty low then. So today's video, I'm gonna be going over your art and talking about face anatomy. And I'm gonna try to make it a little less funny and a little more educational. Cause let's be honest, you don't get new patrons by roasting 11 year olds. And we all know that I'm just here for the money. So I told you to post your anatomy entries in my Discord group, but I think people kind of misunderstood me or maybe I didn't explain it well enough because I got everything but anatomy entries. People posting their goofy OCs and fucking selfies like, whoa, bro, you should roast me. You just roasted yourself with that picture. First person, Addy says, did this exercise and I can already see an improvement in my technique. Thanks for putting out this Angel Ganeth. See, I helped one person. So this is a pretty good lane for the face, but what I see a lot of people get wrong is the circles for the eyes. And when we're doing the circle, we're thinking about the eyeball and the eyeball is going to be as big as the eye. So make sure you make that circle smaller and I don't understand why you've got two lines for the jaw when you obviously have only one here. So gotta fix that as well. But other than that, it's a pretty good lane. I would actually recommend you to go on top and try doing the planes so you really understand the structure shit. Imenshin says, tell me. Bro, what do you want me to tell you? This girl has a frog sucking on her titty. I mean, that speaks for itself. Sam Draw says, I'm gonna get roasted so bad. Amen. Bro, prayers are not gonna save you, but amen to you too, bitch. So I see that shit a lot with people trying to do pen drawing, just shading everywhere and making everything messy as fuck. When you're doing ink drawing, it's all about efficiency. Like you can't just go around and shade like a pencil because you're gonna get this. So I'd advise you to actually focus on purely the planes and understanding the structure of the face rather than trying to do all this weird shading. And by the way, I love when people say ink drawing is really useful because it teaches you how to not erase. Bitch, have you seen your art though? You need to erase. Kino says, here are some of mine, burn me to the ground. What are you, a fucking tree? But I think that's another example of the messy shading that I talked about. And I'm gonna do a whole separate video on this. But when you're shading, just focus on the planes. Don't be shading all over and being like, yeah, I'm shading. And by the way, what is all these barbed wire shading around him? Like, what are you thinking? Oh, he's so hot. He's gonna need some barbed wire to protect him from all the pussy. Vikram Parapeli says, love your work, Angel. Oh, thank you. Here's my work roast as much as you want. Well, bitch, what did I say about you drawing smiling people? What is this fucking Wi-Fi signal on his cheek? Mighty Note says, that's all I have with me. Well, it's not much. Bro, this looks like some cheap ass promotion of some goofy ass app. Hi, I use this amazing application to turn me into a shitty drawing and you can too. So when you're drawing the face, what beginners don't understand is that they're so worried about drawing the features that they completely miss all of the structure of the face. So instead of you worrying about the eye and drawing this omen and being like, yeah, that's definitely an eye. Learn how to break down the face into individual planes and think about the features as a bunch of planes and forms. Don't just think about them as like two lines. And please don't even get me started on the fucking smile. Mwatis Mustafa says, I was trying to skip every step when I started to draw, which made my art progress so slow. So I'm grateful I watched your videos and now I'm starting step by step. That's my boy. So this is a pretty good drawing, but it's really important to think more about the planes rather than all these weird ass wrinkles. Like people always say, oh my God, old people are really good to draw because there's a lot of wrinkles. Yeah, their whole face looks like a wet carpet. Get to some younger people and think more about structure, not all this bullsack texture. 
Muasta Mustafa also says, that's how my drawings used to be only a month ago before listening to your videos. Wow, I literally saved your life. Yuria says, roast me structure daddy, dude an Adidas shirt and a fanny pack. Is that a Slav demon? Martin Nog says, oof, never mind the environment painting. Yeah, this was supposed to be an anatomy video, but I kind of like the girl who's having her period. Bro, is that supposed to be me though? Why do I look like I'm taking a massive shit? It doesn't even look like me that much. Okay, maybe a little bit. Theo Octopi says, I'm not really sure if I'm doing this right, but okay. Well, you're definitely doing it right for the people who love tentacle porn. Perunat on Pascoi. That sounds like some Russian shit. E perunato e Pascoi. So this is kind of another example of what happens when you keep drawing only the features and you don't have any planes or structure at all. Like you don't really know where the structure is supposed to be and you just do this random shading and you're like, oh, his cheekbone is gonna be right where his mouth is. Sketcher says, hey, honest opinion. Well, to be honest with you, your sketches are pretty good, but please stop drawing all of them on just one page with them touching on each other and shit. I know you think it's all aesthetic and shit, but it just looks like a scene out of a gay porn gangbang, which I'd love to watch right now, though. Token says, please, Angel, put me back in my place. Now that's the right attitude, but unfortunately it's not a shading tutorial, so maybe next time. Bro, is that girl eating her own vagina though? Shizo Agni says, I'm a disgusting furry and I'm learning to draw. Roast my latest abortion. Yeah, it's the eye of a fox crying. Yeah, because drawing just a normal human eye without the crying wasn't enough of a challenge for you. Cassina says, help angel. Bro, you don't need help, you need Jesus. So for anybody who's in need of a saving from Christ, I recommend you actually drawing on top of the reference and doing a simple breakdown like this. Focus purely on the lane and the proportions, not on... I don't even know what this is supposed to be. Figo Dudo says, could you please draw the anatomy for this, please? So I kind of told you before, women are too pretty for the structure shit. Like you need some bony ass motherfuckers to really understand the anatomy. If you look at the face of this girl, everything is just so soft and beautiful that you can't even learn anything. But what's gonna happen is that right here with the green is going to be the cheekbone. And then right here with the blue is going to be the triangle. And then here with the yellow, you have the top plane, you have the weird muscles going in here, the mouth area, the fuckboy plane, and then the jaw muscle. But again, unless you study this on males and you understand all of the planes of the face and how to shade them, with all these pretty ass soft faces, you're not gonna do much. Kuspi says, I used your exercise. Okay, this is a pretty good breakdown, but the triangle is more going to be going this direction. The cheekbone is going to be right here. And then the fuckboy plane is actually going to be smaller and you're gonna see a lot more of the jaw muscle. And by the way, that's why I always say use references with strong lightning where you can really tell all of these planes because with this really soft ass pretty face right here, you won't get shit. You're under no obligation to look pretty. That's right. And you know what? You have nothing to worry about because your sketches definitely follow that rule. Rich Hill says thoughts. Oh, that motherfucker kind of looks like that one filter that makes your eyes smaller. Alicia says, I guess I'm late, but still. I edited the ref and I drew these shapes on top of my phone with my finger. Bro, with your finger? What are you, trying to masturbate? Where is your fucking stylus? Hey, but those planes are pretty good though, so if the masturbation works for you, keep going. Okay, I guess these are all the entries for today. Maybe next time I can do your shading sucks, because... But I hope this shit was somewhat helpful and entertaining. And I know the fucking quarantine sucks. So make sure you focus on your goddamn art. And not on fucking masturbating. And I know I'm goofy and awkward. But I'm really serious about teaching this art shit. You know I got like 20 students in my mentorship. But I'm gonna keep doing funny videos on YouTube. Because that's how you get views. And the views are gonna give me more patrons. And the patrons are gonna give me more money. With which I can buy stupid shit.
But if you're interested in some serious critiques, make sure you check out my Patreon, patreon.com slash angelganeth, where I do a special live stream every single week. I do critiques and overpaints and I answer questions. And if you want to watch one of my live streams, I'm going to include a link in the description to my last one. It's over two hours long of just critiques and overpaints and bad advice. So check the description below, make sure you practice your art, and remember, use the quarantine, quarantine for art, because your dick can't handle all of it. Okay, bye!